Hey, what's up guys? Thank you guys for tuning in once again. My name is Edwin. If this is your first time, welcome. Also, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. On this episode, we go looking for games. Uh, we go to a yard sale, we go to a thrift store, and we also go to Costco outlet again. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the footage. So here at the Goodwill, I saw these games and most of them were about eight bucks and that's what they're worth. So I did not pick up any of these games. Here is a combination VCR, this one is the DVD and the VHS and these are pretty popular and these are also worth something and they're good to flip. Hey, what's up guys? So we just came from some yard sales and I asked this lady if they had video games and she went to the back and sure enough, she pulled out this box. You guys tell what it is? So it's the PlayStation 3, the 80 gigabytes. This one is not the uh, backwards compatible, but it's in the box. All it's missing is the uh, HDMI cable, but it has two controllers and I was able to test it real quick. She was nice enough to let me do that. And yeah, this is the second uh, PlayStation 3 that I found. How much did you pay for it? And we paid 20 bucks, 20 bucks. All right. And we also went to uh, another yard sale and Amelia found what? I found a Disney bag that I had actually considered purchasing on Mercari and I was willing to pay $38 plus shipping and handling but at this yard sale I was able to find it. They were selling it actually for $10 but I negotiated for $8 so I got it for $8 and it so it's brand new with its tags. Um, and everything is nice and clean so i might even get to keep this but i'll definitely try selling it on offer of a mercari first and you have been flipping uh also bag bags and backpacks right yes lunch fly backpacks and purses and it's quite a business out there yeah so there is a market for that too I know Mela's been uh, flipping uh, Prince's house, but also uh, look into the backpacks because everything, as you know, Disney is pretty popular, so it does sell. And on top of uh, that backpack, uh, I also got a pupusa. Can't say not too much. Mm. So I was surprised to see this simpsons game because i was expecting to find the mortal kombat ones that i saw before 
uh, and I also was surprised to see that this was, this was going for 309 bucks because they go for five. And the guy told me that uh, they bring them in when they get damaged in the delivery process. So that's why they get reduced in price. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and go over what we got this week. So uh, aside from uh, going to the thrift stores and the yard sales and the Costco outlet, I did go on eBay. From time to time, I do find some pretty good deals there. And let's see what we got this week in the mail. So here's the package. And what video game do you guys think I ordered? We got Mario Sports Mini. offer I believe I made an offer for 14 bucks and the seller denied it this game is going for about 30 bucks so since he didn't take it didn't take my offer I placed a bid he had a bid going on and I placed it at 20 20 bucks was my max so I set it so that it can be uh, automatically send the bids like so if there's a uh, an increase in the bid uh, um, what do you call it? eBay uh, increases the bit up to uh, my max was 20 and I didn't think I was gonna win but I won I won the bit and I'm happy that I got this game because this game I ordered it and I bought it for my students if you guys uh, do not know or if you guys already know I teach uh, physical education and this is a pretty neat game and you can teach them a little bit about you know they has basketball it has hockey volleyball and hockey so this is very cool all right so next up uh, I also made a trade with this one guy he had Super Mario uh, toys from McDonald's and these are the old school ones and let me show you which ones I got and I've been wanting uh, to find these for cheap and what a better way to get them than a trade. I had extra toys that I had, McDonald's toys, Mario Karts, and yep, he we traded three for three. So this one is Luigi and I forget what year this is. I think this is like in the 80s, the 80s toys here, it should say, yep, 1989. So this one is sealed. This is pretty cool, it, it has all four. This is number two. Uh, I also have uh, number one, which is uh, this guy here. Which is pretty neat, it's supposed to jump, and this is the Mario that, uh, it has turned into a raccoon, the flying raccoon. And it came, they all come with a little booklet here. And this is pretty neat because it talks about a little bit, it gives you a little story about the game. And it says that there were seven good kings and they were turned into animals. And Mario is supposed to help him. And he's also supposed to help recover the magic wands so this is pretty cool and it talks about Koopa and his seven uh, what is it seven kids and yeah that's pretty cool aside from that little story on the back there's a Nintendo power subscription and it says that you get 15 uh, 12 actually 12 issues for 15 bucks man I wish I was a kid and I had gotten that deal because you know now uh at least one issue is going for 15 bucks only one some have a greater value if they have the posters all right so uh this other one i've heard this one like it, it, this one's supposed to be like a surprise there's only four four in the collection uh so it's this one it's luigi uh there's 
the uh, turtle that has the wings, and also there's a Goomba. So that's the, those are the four. And there is another one that uh, is, was supposed to be only for toddlers, and this one is also sealed. And this one's like a, it's supposed to be safer for toddlers. So this is like a, a, a soft uh, a plastic uh, Mario. And this is also the raccoon Mario. All right, so that was pretty neat to do a little trade there. Um, aside from that, as you guys saw in the footage, uh, I, we did go to the yard sale. And just like I keep seeing and hearing, the power of asking. So each time I go to a yard sale, and I recommend you doing that too, is sometimes just because they you don't see any video games, they might have something in the back or something that, you know, that they want to get rid of. And this lady, she wanted to, she remembered, she said, oh, she's like, do you, uh, is this what you're looking for? And she pulled out, she came out with this box. She went into garage to the garage real quick, and I couldn't believe it. And it is another PlayStation Three, and this one is pretty much complete. It came with the the uh, it came with uh, two controllers, with everything, no games. Uh, it was just missing the uh, HDMI cable. But it, as you can see. The box is in pretty good condition. It still has a little bit of uh, the sticker there. Um, for, for the most part, it's in pretty good condition. Uh, just right here is a little damage. But other than that, I'm glad that I picked up another one and I was able to find it in the box. All right, so this is the second one. The other one was backwards compatible. So I should be keeping this one and I'm going to try to flip uh, the other one. Oh, so that was kind of cool and exciting and I only got it for 20 bucks. Uh, I wanted to film it, but it was kind of weird uh, to film the whole transaction. I was just excited and I just wanted to get it and run out of there. <laughs> um, so also at the Costco outlet, I went back as you saw in the footage, I saw Play, uh, what was it? Mortal Kombat 2. And I believe they had other games like Mortal Kombat 3 and some other games I can't remember now. So those were going for 150 and I was going back to buy it. Uh, but they were gone. I Like within three days, they were gone. So it wasn't meant to be. That's how I saw it. I was like, if it's there, then cool. If not, then, you know, hey, you know, you move on. But they did have another arcade one up and we bought the Simpsons, the Simpsons arcade. And this one has the bowling and the arcade game, the classic one. And this one is pretty cool. Let's stand up real quick. Okay. Because it has, you know, two games and it also has the light up marquee, which other ones, other arcades, uh, I believe the new the first ones that came out, they did not have one. Like I have the TMNT. That one did not have the light up marquee, so I had to buy it from a third party and I, was, I had to install it myself, but this one has it. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited about having this. I didn't think I was gonna have another one, arcade one up because those, these are expensive. And this, uh, we got it for, what's the price here? Yep, it's right here. It's three, it was 300 and there, there's nothing in here. That's why I'm able to move it easily so this was 309 with 99 cents and as you as many of you know this is going for about 500 and also what's cool about this one not only does it have the light up marquee 
but it has the riser so I don't have to spend extra for the riser and yep that's pretty much it I had to grab it so hopefully with the PlayStation that I flip it should cover the cost for this and that's pretty much how you want to do it you want to flip things uh, that you find so that you can purchase other things uh, to put in your collection all right so these were pretty big stuff that I found you know I'm very happy and like I said like I've said before you know God is good so you guys just keep on hunting and just keep on looking and yeah thank you guys once again for tuning in so that's it for this video I hope to see you on the next video we're gonna try to upload every Tuesday if not sometimes I'm a day late uh, I upload on Wednesdays all right so uh, you guys have a good day, good rest of the week, and I'll see you on the next. Peace.